Well, I'm over here at this permission I got. There's the remains of an old mill, an old yarn mill. And a couple of uh, mill houses used to stand on this lot, and I got permission to do it. In, uh, in exchange for maintaining a cemetery that I'll show you later in this video. But in this hole, it was a uh, half dollar signal. And I pull it out, and it's an old lighter. Still out here at this old place next to an old tree and uh, I got a good quarter slash half dollar signal and got this I just separated it from the plug there's the impression and uh, I think it's an old pocket watch back I believe that's what it is I can get it to focus I'll see if there's anything on the inside but it just looks like a back to a a pocket watch. That's pretty cool. Good find. I just flipped this plug out. And it looks like a T square. It looks like to me, I'll clean it up, get a better look at it. Looks to me like it was a T-square, some kind of carpenter's tool. Forty-two D, not bad. It's eighty-eight to ninety-seven, so no telling what this could be. Pretty deep, right next to this piece of pottery. Broken plate. Is that it? No, that's glass. Tough to do one handed. It's a tack a nail. I don't think that was the target though. There it is. It's not a coin, it's a token. Put this thing in the light. That's cool. I like that. Oh, <laughs> good for three cents. That's looking pretty good. So I'll clean this thing up and show you. Okay, so this is a uh, dairy token. It says, uh, People's Dairy, Apex, and a phone number. It's aluminum. Good for three cents upon return of bottle. So it's a bottle return token. Probably milk. That's awesome. I love this. A little step back into the past. I'm over here close to the area where they do outdoor services and uh, under a tree yeah I'm curious too I'm gonna see what this is is that it
Roots, roots, roots. Lots of roots. Pull it out a little bit. This is it right here. It's an old marker. The old stinky kind, remember those? Well, this was a straight up 85 clad quarter signal, so I didn't live dig it. And it was a little deeper than I thought. And it looks like some kind of a bell or something. This place is turning out to be pretty okay. I got an impression right here when I flipped the plug and I looked down on the hole and come out pretty clean. Looks like part of a pocket watch. I might go with that backing that I found earlier. I'll check it out. I don't want to clean it too much because everything will fall apart. So right on the other side of the tree, right over there somewhere, I dug uh, that pocket watch piece right here. So I walked around the other side of the tree and I got a similar signal right here. I already cut the plug. I flipped it over and probed it. And this is what came up. This is an old padlock part. I thought it was part of the uh, the key or the lock because it looked similar size, and it's not even close. But this is part of an old padlock. That is awesome. There's no markings on it, so I don't know who made it, but I love it. This target was really deep. Look the size of all that dirt. This thing was almost elbow deep. Finally broke it loose. Pull it out. It's an old part of a license plate. That is cool. That is awesome. It doesn't uh, say what year, but there's a 5-3-8. That's all I got. That's all I got to go on. But it's an old license plate. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. This here is an old cemetery that I'm going to be cleaning for a church. And, uh... It's an old one. Just gonna do a walk around so you get a basic before and after view of some of the stones. There's a broken one. Pins are missing. No, they're not missing, it's just uh, broken. We fixed that. Probably need some help lifting that up. Here's an old plot right here. Needs to be cleaned up. The cemetery seen better days. <laughs> 